Hello. <laughs> it's working. Good evening, and welcome to Jonas Soft Middle School. My name is Nicole Barrow White, and I'm the director of the musical. And I'm so happy to see so many of you here and to have it packed to capacity. But anyway, let me tell you about some things that we have to say. We are happy to have you here for this performance, but we ask that you please turn off all cellular devices. They may interfere with the microphones. No food or drinks are allowed in the theater. No recording or flash photography of any kind is permitted. We are re recording the show, and later on you'll find out more about if you'd like to get a copy. Please keep all aisles clear and be mindful that strobe lights and a fog machine will be used during the performance. Um, there will also be a 15 minute intermission where snacks will be sold in the cafeteria, which is out the back door and to the left. And then we just ask for you to sit back, relax, and enjoy Jonas Salk's production of Willy Wonka. Thank you so much. sensational and original new candy bars. Each one with a different center and each one sweeter and creamier and more delicious than the one before. I can make chewing gum that never loses its taste and rich caramels that change color every 10 seconds as they dissolve delectably in your mouth. I have also created the biggest and best candy empire the world has ever known. But I have no one to leave it to. No one to replace me. No one to make new candy dreams come true when I retire. And the time for me to retire is, alas, already long overdue. Please gather all the Oompa Loompas. I have an important announcement to make.
two very old people on that side of the bed are the father and mother of Mr. Bogan. And those two very old people on the other side of the bed are the father and mother of Mrs. Bucket. That is Mr. Bucket and this is Mrs. Bucket. The small boy standing right there is Charlie Bucket, their only son. Here you go, Grandpa Joe. Cabbage soup. Every day, nothing but cabbage soup. Cheer me up, Charlie. Tell me, what's the chocolate news? Well, Wampus got a new bar out. Fudge with bar, Mallow Bay. Mallow, with flavor shifters. Flavor shifters, my. And hi to you, too. Been lying across from you in this bed for 17 years. And now, you suddenly decide to say hi? George, she didn't say hi. She said flavor shifter is mine. Who's wearing a tie? What do you mean? Why? I don't know why. She didn't say hi, tie, or why. She said flavor shifter is mine. Mine. Sure. <laughs> How about a slice of pie? Nobody's having pie, Dad. Just cabbage soup, as always. Oh. oh. <laughs> Papa, how big toothpaste caps do you reckon you twisted into place at the toothpaste factory in your life? As of last night, Charlie, my career total stands at 4,249,876. That must be a world record! Close! I love some toast! No, he's having toast! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think one day I might be able to get a job at the toothpaste factory, Papa? For your sake, I hope not, Charlie. What kind of positive thinking is that? Charlie's gonna work for Mr. Wonka. Making chocolate bars. Now, Grandpa Joe, don't go playing the boy's head with dreams of candy. Brandy? I love one! <laughs> He's just a kid. Why would she give him brandy? She said candy. I know! She's gonna give the kid brandy! Candy! What? Candy! Right here! <laughs> You've got to remember, Charlie's descendant from a long line of distinguished candy men. And women. But Wonka hasn't hired anyone since Slugger Spice saw his candy bar recipe. Wonka was so angry, he gathered all the workers together and told them, I'm sorry, but you must all go home. Then he closed the gates of the factory forever. But Mr. Wonka still makes candies. I can smell them on my way to school. Yes, but no one goes in and no one's out! <laughs> Shadow workers. Maybe the undead. Who knows? Grandpa Joe, you're gonna give Charlie nightmares again. Charlie wants to play gin? <laughs> or play gin? I'm in! Charlie, run right out and see if anyone's done with today's newspaper. Okay, Dad, but you'll have to be Grandpa George. Here, Pop, here's your cabin too. I thought we were playing gin! <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's house every day after lunch with a shiny nickel apiece to buy Wonka bar from the local handyman. The only kid with no nickel is Charlie. Come on, Charlie, don't you want some candy? Not today. Uh, I got a special diet. Looks like it's working. Help me get something else. I got a nickel. Well, you already got a lollipop. Shouldn't you finish that first? I can't help it. I just love candy. Chocolates, caramel suckers, jawbreakers, anything. Stop it. You're making my mouth water.
decided to allow five children to visit his world-famous chocolate factory. The lucky five will tour the factory and receive a lifetime supply of Wonka chocolate. Tour the factory? A lifetime supply of chocolate? Read on! Five golden tickets have been hidden among 50 million ordinary candy bars. That's a 10 million to one shot! Wow! I don't like the odds. The finders of these golden tickets will win the tour and the chocolate. What are you all talking about? Wonka's having a contest! Why would he want to scream, Seth? A contest! Who is? Wonka! What about him? He's, He's having, having a contest! contest. Alright, alright. I'm not done. You know. Those little tickets could be anywhere. How exciting. I wonder if any of them have been found yet. The papers that they old. Charlie, could you imagine winning? Touring the factory! Meeting Mr. Wonka? Seeing for yourself all those undead zombie workers? Eating a lifetime supply of chocolate? Eating a lifetime supply of chocolate? One o'clock already? Charlie, you better hurry. You'll be late for school. It's back to the twist and turns of toothpaste caps for me. Goodbye, Mr. Bucket. Bye, Miss Bucket. Charlie, come here. Remember, we may be starving. Starving! <laughs> we may be poor. Poor, they touch us! <laughs> For the Buck family always. Stay positive. Charlie, Charlie. Paper Pudge? Come here. A Paper Pudge. What is it? Remember, we may be starving. Yeah, Grandpa George. We may be poor. <laughs> we already did that! For the Buck family always. Things positive. I know, Grandpa George, I know. How do you know? I was going to say that. <laughs> Write it down in purple ink, Charlie. It's in purple ink. You'll never forget. Now that's positive. has been 
Mrs. Poop, may we have a word? Dein Name ist Guru. Mit und G und ein L und ein O und ein anderen O und ein B. G-L-O-O-P. Und sie ist mein kleiner Liebchen, Augustas. Tell us about the ticket. Ja, yeah, I just knew. My little snouty sausage would find out for the ticket. He eats so much candy, bandy. That it was almost impossible for him not to find one. Impossible, yeah. <laughs> so, Augustus, tell the folks at home something about you. What do you do? Favorite subjects? Any hobbies? Yeah, I do something food. Yeah, lots and lots of food. <laughs> Eating is his hobby. He is devoted to it. My God, he is devoted. Critics may say Augustus is a questionable role model for young people, given the alarming rise in childhood obesity. It's so he is a little fat. What is so wrong with that? It is better is that being some sort of hooligan shooting up the guns would create the havoc. Isn't that the right of the big thing? Be a fool, my wish it was your fool. Would you but I always say, don't I always say, say it with me, my little leech, just say it with me. Eat more, eat more, eat more. Good boy, I got to say it again. Eat more. Bye, I got to He's been training him for this day, ever since that little smudgy party was born. Training? Oh, yeah. But I got to eat as much as Augusta. He has to be in training from morning to night. He knew all kinds of the foods. If it was the Olympics, I guess this would have the gold medal. <laughs> Yes, 
ma'am, I did, because my daughter Baruka here is a very special girl. Very special. And when she said she simply had to have one of their golden tickets, see, we went nuts buying walking bars by the hundreds. By the thousands, Daddy, by the tens of thousands! Right you are, dear. Right you are. Me, I'm the nut business. Peanuts, cashews, brazils, macadamias. If it's nuts you want, I got them. Roasted raw, plain or fancy. Folks go nuts for our nuts. Check us out at www.we'renuts.com. This is about me, Daddy. They want to know about my ticket, not your macadamias. Right you are, dear. Right you are. Call us at 1-800-WE'RE-NUTS. Major credit cards accepted. The ticket, Mr. Salt? Anyway, I bought hundreds of thousands of Wonka bars, and I had my factory girls stop selling nuts and start selling wrappers. And how many wrappers did Veronica shell? None, you pea brain. Baruka doesn't do manual labor. <laughs> we have people for that. And my father will have you fired for mispronouncing my name. Won't you, Daddy? Whatever you want, Pigeon. Whatever you want. <laughs> Anyways, after days of selling chocolate, one of my factory girlies finally found the lousy golden ticket. So I rewarded her by letting her take the lucky piece of chocolate home to her 17 kids. I didn't have the heart not to, you know what I mean? Oh, how philanthropic. Daddy, now she's being sarcastic! I want her fired, fired! You hear me? Fired, fired, fired! This is Fiona Chuffed, where it seems sweet is rapidly turning sour. <laughs> With nuts, don't forget the nuts. <laughs> See, but you can't have chocolate without the nuts. Good luck, Veronica. <laughs> it's Veronica! <laughs> so, after just one day, only three golden tickets remain. Stay tuned for the continuous coverage of this extraordinary event. Let's hope at least one deserving kid is among the five. Trump out. What's going on? Why aren't you at school? School's canceled. Everyone's gone Wonka crazy. Charlie, Charlie, I knew she meant just to arrive at the candy shop for the Lord's first line. Come on. That's okay. You guys go without me. See ya. I'm gonna be first in line. Not if I can help it. Race you there. is the only profession I know. I guess you don't need cap gestures when you have robot gizmos. Don't worry about it, Dad. We never liked that job anyway. Maybe you can get back into the candy making business like Grandpa Joe keeps on saying. Grandpa Joe likes to dream big dreams, Charlie. But I'm afraid big dreams aren't going to put food on the table. I don't know how I'm going to tell your mom, Charlie. Since we're talking about when I had a job, but now... I said don't worry about it, Dad. Just... Think positive. Positive why? Why not?
Yeah. So what's up for tonight? Leftover cabbage soup? No, breast cabbage soup. No, that's positive.
take the gun and put it behind my ear like this. Isn't that clever? She's so clever. She thought of that herself. I call it. And when I sleep, I put the gun on my headboard. So in the morning, all I had to do was put it right back in my mouth and start chewing again. She thought of that too. So clever. Oh, and sometimes it's a bit hard to get started. And one time it got caught in my hair, but Mom cut it out. I went right back on to chew it again. <laughs>
spotted rat. Catch one. Maybe we could eat it. That's quite enough. We should all go to bed. Can Grandpa Joe just tell me one Wonka story? Just one, please? All right, but just one. And no zombie worker story. You need your sleep. You guys care if Pod tells Charlie a bedtime story? I guess not. I hope you cleaned up, Miss Bucket. So, Charlie, have I got a story for you. What's it about? Pirates? Giant cage? Zombie workers? I promised your mother no zombie stories. This one's about a little boy. And it just so happens to be this little boy's birthday. Yeah? This little boy thought he opened all his presents. Guess what? There's one more. Charlie, look here. <gasps> it's Papa's Nutty Crunch surprise! But where'd you get it? I have my ways. Now remember, Charlie, there's still a teeny, tiny, million to one chance this here bar could be hiding. The fifth and last gold to take it. Now what's going on over there? Charlie, what's that in your hands? Just a little something for me to Charlie on his birthday. Shh, keep it quiet. I wouldn't want to wait for the others. What's going on? I smell chocolate. <laughs> what are you up to, Joe? This is between me and the boy. Go on, Charlie. Open it. I can't. I'm too nervous. You open it, Grandpa Joe. I'll tell you what. We'll open it together. A lifetime supply of chocolate. Three, two, one. Nothing. Good thing, really. Chocolate is very bad. She's right. Why, a lifetime supply of it, you'd be the size of the dome on Capitol Hill. I wish I'd never heard of Candy or Wonka. <laughs> Slowly down from a steel blue sky. Then came the wind. 
Inside the house, jets of freezing air came rushing in through the sides of the windows and under the doors, and there was no place to go to escape them. The four old folks lay silent and huddled in their beds, trying to keep the cold out of their bones. For the Bucket family, the excitement of the golden ticket was long forgotten. In fact, all the family could think about was keeping warm and scraping together enough food to keep their hunger at bay for yet another long, cold winter day. Mr. Bucket searched for odd jobs like shoveling snow. Little Charlie Bucket began the long uphill trek towards school. Charlie, Charlie, where's your coat? I haven't got a coat. Here, take my scarf. You'll freeze to death. Thanks. You making your rounds? I was hoping to, Charlie, but it's just too cold. Help me pack up, would you? Sure. Oh, blast it. My fingers are so cold. Pick up that box of nut crunchies for me. What do I want to freeze? Okay. There's a coin lying right here in the snow. A silver dollar. I think you must have dropped this. Wow, a silver dollar. No, it's not mine. Maybe you should take it home to your folks. You think I should? Maybe I should have put up a notice. That boy's probably been buried here in the snow for weeks. Take it and take this for being such a good kid. Really? Really, you look like you're starving. <laughs> pretty strict on inventory. What'll it be, Charlie, my boy? Well, I think I like the surest one with my family. Grandpa Joe likes the whipple scrumptious fudge mallow of the light, but Grandma Josephine likes the nutterific. Then you should get the whipple scrumptious, nutterific, totally twisted combo bar. Just out, here you go. My bad. Oh. Oh. <laughs>
it, the toy for that. I saw him line it up and put it on the factory. I'm gonna get blue bag. Hey, Wonks. 
sauce the name and nuts the game. In operation like this, it's supposed to do a million nuts. Make that a million and one. Your ticket? Here's your silly ticket, Wonka. Can I have it back after the tour? Of course you can, my dear. Of course. <laughs> Violet Beauregard. I hear ya. Here's our ticket. There's no gum chewing allowed in the tour. But you make gum. The Wonka asks you to remove your gum, Violet, dear. Do we need to negotiate? Sacco bad, whatever. My TV, my TV and guests, your golden ticket, please. Hold your golden horse in it, Professor. There's a Geico and Nike commercial coming up. You don't just often just get a Geico and Nike commercial back to back. I'm sorry. Here's our ticket, Mr. Wonka. Scrumptious. Oh, and Mike, I'm happy to announce there is absolutely no television reception in the factory. None? None whatsoever. <laughs> Chuck Bucket. It's Charles. Charles. Bucket. Mr. Wonka. You got a ticket? So you're Charlie Bucket. Odd coincidence you finding your ticket at the very last minute of the very last day. Now, see here, Wonka. Our ticket's as good as. Pleasure to meet you, too, Mr. Uh, you know me. Joe Bucket. I used to work for you. Congratulations. So did I. Well then, let's proceed. We start with a contract. Raise your right hand. I insert your name here. I love you. Hereby swear not to touch Malina sign. Touch Malina sign. Blood share, tear, or wear non such party of the first part of the penalty of grievance should such grievance occur. Uh, yeah, whatever. Do you so swear? We swear. No, that's my lawyer. Let me give him a ring. Absolutely no mobile phones. Sign or leave. Good. Now, are there any questions? Hey, Wonks. How long do the how long do you think this thing will take? I got a meeting in 20. Any questions from the children? Mr. Bunker, how long is it until we may have a snack? Augustus has low blood sugar. Pause it, Mr. Wonka, Mike. Come on. Pause it, Mr. Wonka. Oh, wait till I send this to Grandma. Absolutely no photography of any kind. <laughs> Mr. Vodka, just how many rooms has your factory? Good question, Nemesis. In the one chocolate factory, there are 7,000 rooms. I'll show you what some of them are. This week here, I'm going to
My pipes carry its yummy goodness to each and every room of my back. Imagine I was that hot, hot, cold, running chocolate. Horror vodka, I want to take some hot, hot, cold, running chocolate. Now, no matter how tempting, and isn't it deliciously tempting, you must not, under any circumstances, touch the chocolate. What's over there? It's some type of creature. Put your hand in the air and see him, punk! No need to worry. <laughs> that, my friends, is an Oompa A zombie worker! Not a zombie worker. A refugee. From where, Wonka? All of my workers are Oompa Loompas from Loompa Land. See here, Wonka, I'm a geography teacher and... and you should know all about Loompa Land. With its thick jungle, infested with snazzy wanglers and horn swagglers, and all those wicked old wang doodles. Wang doodles? This not your thing. There certainly are, my dear. And wouldn't a wang doodle love to see her super sharp, vicious little fangs into you? <gasps> Augustus, didn't I mention quite recently that my super special chocolate is not to be touched by human hands? Especially yours. Too late! <laughs> Great! He's gonna give his call to millions of people! It's so good! I think I'm shocked that I didn't get drunk in. child under the chocolate. <laughs> it's a shame, really. The boy really seemed to know his, his food. He'll be mashed like a marshmallow. It's impossible. The pipes lead nowhere near the marshmallow. <laughs> they lead to the strawberry dipping room. Strawberry dipping room? Where he'll be heated to a temperature of 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Or is it Celsius? I don't know. I get the two mixed up every so often. Anywho. Somebody will accompany you, Gary. And once you do get there, take a long, sharp stick and start poking around the mixing barrel. You're likely to find him there. But th get there quickly. If you're not quick enough, he'll be dropped into the fudge boiler. It could be a tragedy. Damage the machinery. With Augustus would be damaged too. You did it for man! Proudly. I'm afraid Augustus was damaged a very long time ago. <laughs> the only tragedy, as far as I'm concerned, would be the waste of chocolate. <laughs> Goodbye, Mrs. Gluck, and good luck. Come along. Okay. 
love you cause all that's sweet Eating as much as an elephant eats But are you at getting terribly fat? What do you think will come? Checkbook ready. Don't take me. Don't take. Don't take me on too much of a boat ride. A little joke for you. Name your price. A bad parents says what? What? A bad parents says what? What? Exactly. Hey, Walker. Where the heck are you taking us?
probably. At least I hope so. Pity, really. She showed much promise as a gum prodigy. Come along, there's so much to see more. Stop, reverse that. Ah, I've almost forgotten about this room. It's the busy lifting drink room. of my busy lifting drink, and you will float on air. Float on air? Whoa! Unfortunately, we must not take the littlest sip. My legal advisors told me something to do with air trafficking control. I don't know. Come along. We have much better things to do. psychoactive components be theobromine and caffeine. Now, just step this way and, Charlie, please do stick with the group. We wouldn't want you floating away now, would we? <laughs> now next we have the nut room. Uh, Mr. Wonka, are those squirrels? Despite their enormous similarity to squirrels, these ones can crack a walnut from its shell in one go and separate the good nuts from the bad nuts. They're so adorable! Here, Squirrelly, Squirrelly! 
Veruca. Please do not interact with the squirrels. They're still in training. Stay here, Veruca. I'm a squirrel, and what I want, I get. Checkbook's ready. Today is a burn day or not. I don't know. That's what's the, it's a shame, really. She was so self centered, bossy, and careless. Would have made a wonderful politician. <laughs> now, onward and upward, backward and forward, off we go.
sorry. I'm a bit deaf in that ear. I said, what does this thing do? Sorry, I'm a bit deaf in that ear as well. Yeah, Walker. Leon, don't be, don't be hang on. You see, television gave me a wonderful idea. If you can send pictures via television, why not a candy bar? That's impossible. Very possible. Just imagine sitting at home, watching TV, and a commercial comes on. Try a Wonka bar. Try it now. And then, boom, there it is. Just one tap from that button right over there. But you must not touch. It hasn't been properly tested. Hey, everybody, look at me. I'm going to be on TV. <laughs> sent their lifetime supply of chocolate. Other than that, today has been a total waste of time and chocolate. Good day, Charlie Bucket, and goodbye. Bye, Mr. Wonka. Just a moment, Mr. Wonka. I don't deserve a lifetime supply of chocolate. I tasted the fizzy lifting drink, and I broke the rules, and I'm very sorry, but Thank you for the most wonderful day and the most wonderful tour of the factory. It's better than Christmas. Bless you, Charlie. You did it! You just did it! Did what, Mr. Wonka? See here, Wonka. It isn't Charlie's fault. It's my fault. I suggested we try this fizzy lifting drink. So you're both to blame. But we don't have time for that now. You see, I created this entire competition with just one idea of mine to find somebody new to make new candy dreams come true. I don't understand. You see, Charlie, this entire thing was a quest of character. I carefully selected each room to tempt each candidate. And you, Charlie, did something quite remarkable. You gave in to temptation. And you were smart enough not to get caught. And even after that, you admitted to your guilt. Now, come this way. We have so much to do. Does this mean we're in trouble, Mr. Walker? 
I'm not, but you could be. <laughs> time will tell, Charlie. It's only a certain amount of time until you get yourself into some good old-fashioned, life-threatening trouble. <laughs> Charlie, press that button right there. This one? No, not that one. That one. Good. Now, we're going up and out. Up and down. This is it. Here we go.
Hello? Oh. We have some gifts for our amazing teachers who helped us create this performance. Hi, I'm Lorelai Moscarella. I've been in this show like three years. Um, anyway, um, so I just, this first gift is for um, Ms. Artinian and Ms. Langan, our amazing like set designers, and they really helped pull everything together. So, yeah. Yeah. auditions and it's a long process it's not easy I mean we, we rehearsed in the morning we rehearsed in the afternoon we did lunchtime we did a lot of different things but to all that work and this is what came out of it so very proud <laughs> I just want to 
to say, again, it's not, as you can see, all the different people who helped out. This is a, it's a whole huge commitment and several people, and I just want to say thanks again to Ms. Kelly and Ms. Artinian, who, and, huh? <laughs> Definitely to them, and of course, to our, our, our choreographers, my nieces, they came out and everything, so it's not just me, it's a whole group of us, and I would be crazy, crazy not to say thank you to our fantastic band. <laughs> And of course, in the back, our sound, I mean our sound, our, 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 our AV club and everything. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We would not be. I'm going to stop saying names because I'm making get somebody. Just say, I, I love everybody. I thank you. Love you too, Audrey. What role do you have in the play, and what do you like about it? Uh, I'm Charlie, and I like it because I'm one of the main roles, so I get to be in everything. Okay. What's your favorite scene, and why? Uh, probably scene 20, because I get the chocolate factory. Okay. What's your favorite song, and why? Uh, probably, I've got a golden ticket, because I get the golden ticket. What role do you have in the play, and what do you like about it? Uh, I play really long game. And I like his personality. It's very active and explosive. What's your favorite scene and why? My favorite scene is probably the, the nut room. Uh, very funny. And it's just exciting. All right. Uh, what's your favorite song and why? My favorite song is Pure Imagination. It's the song that most people know from uh, Willy Wonka, and it's it's a good song. Man. Get to sing on stage. Okay. What role, what role do you have in the play, and what do you like about it? I'm Grandpa Joe, and I love how I waddle everywhere because it's just, it looks really funny when I have to walk fast. Okay. okay. I just really like that. What's your favorite scene, and why? Grandpa. Um. Personally, my favorite scene. It's probably Golden Ticket. Cause it's just you know at the, end of the, at the end of the scene. It's a really cool vibe that it gives off. Yeah, okay. Uh, what's your favorite song and why? Probably Flying, just because of the fact that it's like I'm the most in that one. Mm -hmm. And it's just very... Um, just a really nice, it's a really good song. Ah. Avery, what role do you have in the play and what do you like about it? Um, so my role in the play is Veruca Salt and I like... Um, playing Veruca Salt because it's very girly and I can be very bratty in all my scenes. Okay. Okay, second question. What's your favorite scene and why? My favorite scene is definitely the nut room because I have my song in it and it's like very fun to like dance with it and sing with it. And I also like the boat scene because it's really cool. Okay. Last one. What's your favorite song and why? My favorite song is I Want It Now because I sing, I sing and I want it now, and it's also one of my favorites because um, I can roll down the nut shoot, and it's really fun. Okay, thank you. What's your, what role do you have in, in the play, and what do you like about it? Grandpa George, and I like it because Grandpa George's personality is funny, and I feel like that's kind of my personality. What's your favorite scene, and why? Ooh, I'd have to go the third one because it's Charlie's birthday and that is Cheer Up Charlie which is in my opinion the best song in Willy Wonka. 
Okay, last one. What's your favorite song and why? Ooh. Cheer up Charlie, because I, you know, I'm in it. And it's Charlie's birthday, so. Yeah. That's it. Alright, thank you. Nihilis, what role do you have in the play and what do you like about it? Okay, so I play Violet Bogard in the show. And what I love about it is just how, like, jumpy she is. Like, I don't know, it's a weird thing for me to say, but I just love her energetic personality and it really, like, stands out throughout the show, so, yeah. Okay, second question. What's your favorite scene and why? I love the Candyman scene. I'm not in it, but I just love the whole, like, like, it's a classic, and I love just the choreography and everything that goes into it. It's a really good number. Okay. Last one. What's your favorite song and why? My favorite song of the show is I Want It Now um, because of Avery Rose Owens. She is a talent, and I love her so much. But, yeah, that's it. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Ja, what role do you have in the play, and what do you like about it? I have Augustus Gloop. And I like it because I am a fat, greedy child, and he's just funny. Okay. Second question. What's your favorite scene and why? My favorite scene... Okay. My favorite scene is, like, when they, like, just enter the factory and, like, like the part of the factory where it's, like, they're making the gum and then Ella goes, Gah! Gah! Like that. Okay, last one. What's your favorite song and why? My favorite song is Chew It because it's really, really catchy and I've been singing it for the past couple of days and I just, I just can't get it out of my head. Okay, thank you. What role, uh, what role do you have in the play and what do you like about it? My name is Mike TV and what I like about it is that I get to use my phone because it's in my character. Alright, now uh, what's your favorite scene and why? My favorite scene is when I get to leave because I get covered in smoke and I get to do a dance. Alright, now uh, what's your favorite song and why? My favorite song is probably my Oompa Loompa song. Alright, thank you.